How to create a storybook on Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can create digital storybooks as well as printable storybooks on Canva. It's a really simple and easy process and anyone can do this with the help of AI. Usually you would have to, you know, create a story in your mind, have a really clear idea, and then you could create your storybooks. But now you can use things like ChatGPT to write stories for you. And all you have to do is bring the idea to life using Canva. And I'll show you guys exactly how. So let's get into it. Now to get started, we are first going to choose the size of our storybook. So there are different ways that you can choose the size. First off is for Amazon KDP. Now some people want to publish their books on Amazon KDP. So in that particular situation, you are going to go into Amazon KDP template and you will go into the cover calculator by Amazon and you can just go on ahead and choose all these basic options, but you will see your measurement units and the trim size. So there are a bunch of different trim sizes available on Amazon KDP. If you are going to be using that, you can add your own custom trim size as well if you want to do so. I will be creating my own custom size because I am going to be focusing primarily on a digital book. So for my digital storybook, I'm going to change the units from pixels to inches. And I want this to be a 10 by 10 inch. I think that's gonna, or I think I want this to be a horizontal book. So I'm gonna go with a 14 by 10 inch and I will click on create new design. Now, this is one style preference. If you want, you can go into Canva and search for a storybook, and you will actually see a bunch of different templates. The size that they are using, they are using square sizes, so you can actually opt for that as well. And you can even get some inspiration of the types of stories that are being created with Canva. So, if you want to create a square or a landscape one, that is totally your personal preference. Now, moving on to our actual story. So I am using ChatGPT to generate these stories and I just asked ChatGPT to write like a rhyming story for babies with a nice message. It has given me a lot of different ideas and I can pick out whichever one I like. So I think I'm going to go with this one that I really liked. It's the Sammy the Snail's Day Out. So I'm just going to go back into Canva and the first thing I'm going to do is click on the canvas. And I will change the background color to be a really light pale green. From there, I'm going to go into elements and I'll search for a gradient like this. And I can click on graphics and I can use one of these interesting graphics like this one. And I will use like a really cute one like this one or this one. I'll just add a couple on the canvas so I can later on customize to the one I want to use. I think I really like this one and I will, you know, add a bit of transparency. Then I'm going to go into elements and search for snail. Now, if I search for snail, there are so many cute illustrations of snails. I think I really like this one. I think I just found the snail of my dreams. I'm going to use this snail over here like this and then I'm going to add some butterflies like so. And I will click on see all and I will use like some really cute butterfly illustrations and I'm just going to size them down a little like this and I'll just place them like so over here and I'm going to flip it as well and make it a bit smaller. And you can use, you know, multiple different variations of butterflies and decorative elements as well. And I will search for these flowers. These look really cute, so I'm going to add these as the base for our character to walk on. And then after that, I'm going to click on text, and we are going to use one of the free text combos. If you want, you can use a simple heading text like this, and we're going to add the title. So it is Sammy the Snail Stay Out, and I'm just going to copy this and add that over here. Once I've done that, I'm going to resize it, and I'll just add the title over here like so you can stylize your font however you want you can customize colors and do a lot more in terms of customization if you so choose to do i'll just add this sammy the snail's day out 
and to make sure to choose a font that would be suitable for a children's book. Once you do that, you can duplicate your page and start copying the lines. So in a garden, Sammy slid with friends he met, he laughed, and he hit. So I am going to replace the text like this. And then I will resize Sammy to be a little smaller. And I can use a different snail image as well. But I'm going to use the same one. And then we're going to, you know, add this larger branch over here. Or I'll just search for a plant like this. And I think I'm going to use this little plant illustration. I'll increase the size a little and I'll add the snail like this. Now I can duplicate the slide. I'll delete both of these and I will add the next two lines like this. And I will add with a bee, a frog, a fish, so fine, like this. So I'll first search for the sun. And then I'll add a cute little sun over here like this. And we're going to resize our text a little to fit. And then after that, I'm going to search for a pond. And in the pond, I'll make a fish as well. But I'm going to search for a cute pond like this one. I think I really like this one with a bee, with a frog. And then I'll add my snail back in. So where is our favorite little snail? Like this one. And we're just going to place him like this over here at the side of the pond, like so. And I'll also add a bee like this one. I can resize the pond a little and I'll add a bit more of our grass like this. And I'm going to flip this a little so it's easier for the pond to be visible. Now, once we've done that, we can click on duplicate page and we can add the rest of our text like this. I'm just going to paste that in like this. And over here, I have done this. Now, if you're writing a book and you can't find appropriate illustrations, you can go onto apps on the bottom left and search for magic media. And once you search for magic media, you're going to find this application and you can easily just ask it to generate images for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to generate a graphic and I want it to generate a snail sleeping cutely like this. And I will just ask it to generate the image and I'll delete, you know, the backgrounds from here and I'll just make it simple again like so and you can even do this for a image or a graphic that is up to your personal preference so these snails it has generated are a bit disappointing so i'm going to go with an image instead a cute snail sleeping like this so let's take a look at the type of images that our ai generates and this is the best part about using canva to generate your storybooks is you have so many uh different options available this is too realistic. I want something a bit more cartoonish. And I think I should have added that in the prompt. So a cute cartoon snail sleeping. And I can click on see all and I can even choose a playful style. And then I'll click on generate. And now it is generating our new snail image for us. And we're just going to wait for that. And once we have completed this, we can convert this into a simple flipbook. So this is a really cute little snail. I'm just going to add it as it is like this. And once you have created your entire book, what you're going to do is you are going to click on share, then scroll down and click on more. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to see this section called design. So once you click on design, you're going to click on simple booklet flip and then click on save. Now, on this platform, you're going to be able to create a flippable ebook. So, if you're looking to promote this or sell this online, you can click on View in Simple Flipbook and you can easily promote this as an ebook where it is going to be a scrollable book and people can actually scroll through or turn the pages of your children's storybook, which can, you know, have a really nice impact. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.